the idea of creating a piece of art from just fresh fruit and veg personally would fill me with horror. But apparently not the youngsters of Kent, because 180 entries have now been whittled down to six, and those finalists are here at Hadlow College today and have just one hour to recreate their Olympic-themed fruit and veg masterpiece. The most difficult job of judging comes down to artist Carl Warner. It's very hard to judge this. I mean, there are three finalists on the individuals and three finalists on the group, and they're all as good as each other. I mean, it's hard to pick a winner, and it's going to be really awful to have to do that. But, uh, you, know, they're, you know, I know it sounds really glib, but, you know, they're all winners in terms of getting here uh, through all the other kids that have, have uh, put, entered the competition. So they've done really well already. Um, and I'm just, yeah, I'm really pleased to see them being so inspired by my work and also looking at the Olympics in a very different way. <laughs> this year we've had a fabulous response and to see them really engaging with Kent fruit and vegetables in a very physical way, chopping them up, making pictures, grating, slicing, creating. We've had 3D models, we've had flat models, we've had everything you can possibly imagine of every sport you can possibly imagine and every building in London too. So I'm just going to talk first of all about the individual entries. And uh, the three individual entries were from Annabelle, Arthur and Emily. Uh, Annabelle did the lovely gymnast during the splits on the bar, which I thought was really beautiful, very elegant. I love the elegant pose. I don't know if you've all had a look at that entry, but it's really beautifully done, very simple, it's very graphic. And it's just, I just thought it was wonderful. Where's Arthur? Is he here? He's here. Great use of kind of structure to hold those apples up and to keep all of that, the weight of it, and it didn't fall down. It hasn't fallen down yet, I hope. No. Good, still there. And also little things like the potatoes for the six pack. As Steve says, you know, we eat potatoes, but we don't get six packs. <laughs> and then Emily, where's Emily? With your trampoline. The, the, you know, the, the way she's in the air kind of boing around, it just looked fantastic. And I don't know where you got those black currants from for the feet? Are they black currants? Loganberries are they? Well I'm educated into something new. <laughs> Loganberries, right okay. But if I have to pick a winner and sadly it's an awful job to have to do that, I have to say it's for Arthur for his weighing man. It's his weightlifter. Well done, congratulations. I'll go on to the group entries. So I just talked through all three of those. Uh, first of all, the All Saints Church entry of the hurdler, which I thought was fabulous. It's caught all the energy of the guy coming towards us over that hurdle. And I just thought what was really nice is when you blur your eyes, and if you look at it again, when you go up there later, if you blur your eyes, the lines of the track really stand out. The second one is Seneca Woods Olympic art poster. Fabulous graphic kind of as a poster that would stand out for the Olympics they should be asking you for that and putting it putting it up outside the stadium because it's just got that wonderful you see the rings and then each picture within each ring is just tells its own little story some great detail great teamwork everybody was on the case and I think to do all of those faces out of out of potato was just you know a thankless task but but they look fantastic and the last one that I looked at was St John's Primary School who did the Olympic swimming pool pool tastic I think it was called um, what I liked about this one was the three-dimensional aspect it was kind of you know you had the pool and you had all of the audience looking down at the pool and all the different faces and I thought it was very humorous as a picture I think it just kind of like had not only the three-dimensional thing but it's very funny but I think that just by a head it's got to be the Olympic swimming pole. Sadly, there can only be one winner in each category, but congratulations to St John's Catholic Primary School from Gravesend. Well done, all of you. How happy are you? Really, really happy. How important was it, though, to get all the vegetables and everything? Were there things that you used that perhaps you'd never seen before? Uh, nearly all of them I knew. And what do you think of the, the finished result? Because I mean, you had a bit of a hiccup, didn't you, with a glue gun and everything else? Yeah. But you persevered and got there? Yeah. All right. Well done, congratulations. Give yourself a round of applause then. The happiest day of my life. Callum, you're going to go in there? It's the happiest day of your life. Fantastic. And again, please give yourselves a round of applause for, for all your work. <laughs>